In this video, I will share with you how I deal with negative criticism as a leader. and welcome to another video if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell also I've created different types of playlists for what I do and what I put out so please check that out and I hope you like it it is inevitable that someone from your team will come up to you and provide you with unwelcome criticisms you know one of my mentors told me once that the climb to the top of the leadership ladder will be hard and lonely. He added it will be very lonely at the top and you will be alone. He was telling the truth. As leaders put themselves out there to be effective, the criticisms pour both from their peers, other leaders, and from unhappy and unappreciative followers. Some come from loyal followers surprisingly. If you are not ready for such negative criticisms, then more than likely you will not be very effective as a leader. Donald Phillips, in his book, Lincoln and Leadership, wrote of Abraham Lincoln facing similar situations. If you haven't already noticed, even the President of the United States, whomever is in office, are criticized daily. It is inevitable and expected that to be a great leader, we must step out of our comfort zone and take the highest risk to make effective changes. If you are not doing this, then you are not leading. To continue to improve, you must deal with uncomfortable situations. And it doesn't matter what decision you have made in these situations, someone will chastise you for it. There are a lot of people out there that want your job and they think they can do it better than you. So how do you deal with the negative criticisms when all you want to do is keep on leading and achieving your goals and leading your team to success? Well, the easiest answer is that you can ignore these negative criticisms completely. However, believe me that not everyone has the ability to just ignore it. This part of your character will develop further as you deal with more and more of these mean things. But for now, that may not be an option. If you decide to ignore such criticisms in this stage, I can almost guarantee that you will lose sleep over it and lose productivity in the days ahead. Listen, it takes practice to be able to just ignore negative criticisms. Once you develop the ability to ignore and forget such negative thoughts, then it will be so much easier for you, but that doesn't come until later. You can do what Abraham Lincoln have done. You can write nasty letters. Wait, don't just stop there and do what I tell you, you know? Listen, this habit was one of Abraham Lincoln's way of dealing with criticisms from his senior military leadership. He was known to write letters to those he disliked, sealed it, but never sent it. I took his advice in many instances early on in my career. It helped me deal with negative thoughts that would have otherwise destroyed my ability to perform at the optimal level. In writing, you can express without hesitation the way you feel about per a person. My advice to you is this, do this at a secure location. Remember, do not send this letter. It is for you to be able to offload your frustrations and nothing more. Further, I do not advise that you write the letters electronically. You have to remember that everything you place electronically on your devices creates a footprint and that's almost impossible to erase. To be honest, don't you wish you can just pop someone in the face for chastising you? Well, that is not advisable and neither is my next advice. Confronting the source of the negative comment may be an option, 
but highly discouraged. As a leader, you do not want to be perceived to have abused your position's power and retaliate at your people. It is one way to lose your people's trust and respect. That you have to remember that it's your people's rights to freedom of thoughts and expression. Ideally, none of them should be openly chastising you anyways. That is disrespect and you have to deal with that appropriately, immediately. As for advice from close and trusted confidants, great leaders have mentors and this is the appropriate time to discuss such matters. Discussing the negative criticism with someone you can trust may change the way you look at things. Maybe there is truth about what was said and having to realize that you can change and the way you handle business. Realizing and accepting faults will only add to your street creds as a great leader and your people will see that and even trust you more you have to understand that once you are in the highest positions of leadership that you mutually agree that you have to put yourself out there to be criticized and you have to be okay with that don't let others dictate your path to greatness you are placed in such high esteem to be a leader because you have the talent, the capacity to do anything. Being a leader of any occupation and at any level is not easy. The benefits of leadership positions are your ability to influence people, rally assets to produce the same goals and leave a long lasting legacy. It is very rare to lead projects with few challenges. The higher the risk, the better the results, but the nastier the failure as well. As a leader, your people are looking at you for guidance, mentorship, motivation, and to bring them success. Thank you for watching my channel, and I wish you the best of luck. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.